Happy Monday, everybody. It's Dr. Linda of the Vascular Birthmarks Foundation bringing you our second in a series of free art classes, Art by Dr. Linda. I'm very excited, and I'll make this announcement throughout, that um, as you all know, New York State has been the hardest hit by COVID-19 in the world. <laughs> and um, we just found out from our governor that the worst is behind us. So I'm just thanking God and praising God that the worst is behind us. He said it's going to be a long time to roll out our um, plan of recovery, but it's coming, and I'm thankful and grateful for that. Uh, hi, Kristen. Kristen's on. So I just shared some good news, Kristen, that just two minutes ago, our governor said the worst is behind us. Um, so that's just really, really exciting news. And he said the rollout plan is going to be discussed this afternoon, and we'll hear about it later. But just hearing the worst is behind us in New York State from our governor just five minutes ago is just a time to rejoice. So hi, Jody. Hi, Meg Meg. Hi, girls, all the girls, Mia, um, Maya, sorry, Maya. Um, and um, so today, oh, we're going to have so much fun. Um, we are going to be doing, I see there are five people on, so sometimes people don't say hi. But if you are, if you can see me and if you can see the thing, hi, Batul, say hi. <laughs> hi, Meg and Serena. Um, so anyways, and Kai <laughs> and um, all the children and all the adults. I'm just in a really good mood because our governor said the worst is behind us. I just want to sing and rejoice. So today we are going to, it's going to be a um, very easy class. You don't even need a paintbrush. We're going to be doing, you can see here, two versions of pointillism landscape. So these are the mountains, the sky, and the flowers and the grass. This is a small one done what's called um, landscape style. This is a bigger one done what's called portrait style. So you can see the two, they're a little different. Uh, let me get this right, a little different. So what we're going to do first is, you know, whether you use, and I've talked about this last week, you can use, oh, and by the way, what's this? It's my heart. May is Vascular Birthmarks, Anomalies, and Syndromes Month of Awareness. We're going to be launching information on that very soon this week, asking all the groups all over the world to join us on raising awareness during May so that we can get an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment for everyone. So the first thing we're gonna need is the surface you're gonna paint on. Now, this is cardstock, which is actually acrylic paper. Um, if you don't wanna buy um, canvas, you can buy this acrylic cardstock and use it on either side. You can get a giant pad from Amazon for like $20 and cut the sheets in half. That's what I did with this. It's a half of a sheet, so you get a lot. It's like getting 24 canvases for $12, so that's 50 cents. And this is the paint, the canvas I'm gonna use. Now, you can see some shadows of a previous design. I decided I was gonna reuse this canvas, so remember you can do that. And I painted white paint over this, and when I begin my painting now, you'll see that it'll cover over this. So. You reuse, repurpose and reuse. So now you're gonna take your paper plate and you're gonna put some white on it. Let's get some white on there. Let's get some yellow, some white, a little blob of yellow. Um, you know, blobs should be small like this. Oops, let's see. Yeah, like a small blob. There's my white, but I used it on something else. So yellow, blue, green and red if you have orange great but if you have yellow blue green and red which are the primary colors then we can make other colors and that's what we're going to do today we're going to mix so make sure you leave space put these colors close together yellow red and now i'm going to add my green where is my green okay so these are the primary colors that you want Yellow, red, green, oops, and I forgot blue. Oh, Dr. Linda, where's your blue? Get some blue on there. 
Let's see. Hi, everybody. Hi, Scott. <laughs> Hope you're doing great. Tam Bam. Hi, Tam. Hope the baby's doing great. Her baby had her hemangioma removed by Dr. Wainer a couple weeks ago. It was one of the largest ones I've ever seen, and the baby's doing great, thank God. Right, Tam Bam? Um, so here we have on our plate blue, green, red, and yellow. Now what you're going to do, and you can take anything. You can use a straw. You can use a Q-tip. You can use, I'm using a plastic knife, and I'm going to take some white, and I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit of blue in with it and mix it up because this is going to be the sky. Let me just show you this. So see, I'm mixing just a little bit of blue with the white. So let's get a real, real light blue there because we want that to be the sky. Some blues like this one that I picked up, it actually looks a little bit like, make like a green blue. So when you get that blue mixed up, you're going to take, like we did last week, your paper towel, crunch it up, and you're going to get soak it up with that blue. Then you're going to take your canvas. I'm going to do it this way, portrait. And you're going to go halfway down and make a line, just halfway down. And then you're going to do this across the top. See, real simple and easy. Just go halfway down horizontally doesn't nothing has to be perfect remember there's nothing perfect and you want some white peeking through because it's going to be like the sky so see i just just gooped up one paper towel put some blue on there you see and i just dragged it with the paper towel right across there you go nice and thin not goppy not goopy it's already drying okay so you see that's simple now the second thing we're going to do is we're going to take another paper towel. See, I got one here. We only need two because we're doing the big spots or the green for the grass and the blue for the sky. So you've got your blue. Remember, let some of that white shine through because that's going to be our clouds. Let me get this straight here. Uh, I, everything is reversed on here. There we go. So boom 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 there we go so you see the canvas how i have it half of the blue now i'm going to take the green i'm going to get a, my gob of green because we're only using the green for the grass so look there's my green and i'm going to drag it across the bottom almost like you're washing the canvas right you're just going to drag it across the bottom like this look at that i'm washing the canvas <laughs> fill it in as best you can don't make a big deal but look I just you know I just did this once with the paper towel I got a little more paint so I'm gonna fill in some of the lighter spots and if you have some darker than light it's okay grass isn't always perfect the grass isn't always greener on the other side <laughs> right you see that so let's get over here you want to try to keep it to be a horizontal stroke so this is our base right here. This is actually our base of the grass and the sky. If you want a little bit more green for the grass and you still have a little left on your plate, you can just fill in the light spot. It doesn't have to be total, but even if I have like some little darker green, that's actually good. It gives texture. You see where some of my spots are a little darker? That's actually fine. Now we're just gonna wave this, because this is done. This is your basis for your painting. Totally done. Let's, let's fan it for a second. And um, put it aside for one minute. While that's drying, I'm gonna tell you about our giveaways for May. So these are two paintings that I did, which are called Mother of Birthmarks. And for anyone who raises, um, two hundred dollars or more for vbf whether you do a facebook challenge or a group appeal or a donation you will get a customized painting this is your very own customized painting this is the basic style i'll do whatever color hair whatever color skin and if you want one baby or two babies whichever you want and the location of the birthmark so 
you'll email me tell me if you if you raise that money we'll know and I'll say do you want your free custom painting and you will get it in addition they're not here yet I hope to have them maybe next week I ordered tote bags which have the mother of birthmark painting on them and you can use them for grocery shopping or um, whatever you can keep your art supplies in them and you'll get a free tote if you donate I forgot what we said <laughs> um, I think it's fifty dollars or more you get the free tote and two hundred dollars or more you get the painting and the tote so that's only for the month of May because Dr. Linda doesn't want to do a thousand paintings but I'll do as many as we get donations for I promise <laughs> okay now let's get our painting we're ready to rock and roll so now you need a little bit more of the dark blue you're not going to mix it so if you have I still have some blue and you're going to take your cotton ball and I'm going to dip it in the dark blue you see that you see that get your cotton ball with the dark blue and you're going to make one hump and then a smaller hump you see that those are our mountains then you're going to use that same cotton ball we're just going to fill it in remember nothing's perfect don't do it perfect nobody cares nobody wants perfect mountains aren't perfect people aren't perfect there you go look at that one cotton ball one minute I got my mountains how awesome is that let's go I hope you're doing this let me know if you're following along if I'm going too fast I'll just use up this blue that's on this cotton ball maybe keep it thin so it dries quick nothing blobby um, depending on the size of your paper you can do two mountains or one um, I've got to add a little bit more white the next color we need is white so here's my white acrylic and I'm going to squirt a little bit more of the white on my um, you should you're going to use a lot of white today because when we make our flowers we're going to mix the colors in to make them more opaque so here's the mountains. You see the mountains, everybody. I hope you're joining along. Let's see who's on here. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Um, she's from my event group. I do the art class. Hi, Maria. Demarius. Hi, everybody. Um, okay. So you see, we have the mountains, the sky, and the green grass. Now take another cotton ball. Got your cotton ball. These are great. And we're going to dip it in just the white. See that? just white now we're going to make some blotches keep them thin for the clouds just blotchy 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 no big deal nothing fancy look at that look at how nice my clouds look don't they look nice and puffy just like cotton balls yeah just make nice big blotches there you go there's my sky look at that beautiful clouds over the mountains Look, it already, you can already see it's the grass, the mountains. So we're just going to shake this while I'm drying. You guys can be getting this part done. See, you can see it when I tip it. If it's a little shiny, that part's still wet. Acrylics dry really, really fast. An entire painting will be done in 10 minutes. That's why when you go to those paint and sip classes, they use acrylics. Okay, so let's see who else is join Tam Maria hi <laughs> okay I know your journey is 25 years Maria you can just send me a request if you do your own join me and campaign on Facebook you can get one for your daughter's birthmark and you do go back 25 years with me right we're when VBF was founded in 94 you were one of the first people networked into treatment with your daughter um, okay, so ooh, let's see. Let me just straighten this out so you can see. Uh, there we go. All right, so that's that's this is now what we're ready for. Once this is dried in another minute, we're going to start our flowers. And you can use just get ready, you already have your colors on your plate. So we're either going to use q tips or a straw. We used a straw last week. So if you don't have either of these, get them, a Q-tip or a straw. We're going to make small circles for the flowers. The other thing, you could use your fingertip, but we're going to have multiple colors. So you don't want to have different colors, although we do have five fingers. And you can see, 
look at, I already have paint all over me. That's just the life of an artist. Paint, paint. My smock has paint. I have, by the way, moms and dads who do art with your kids. I go to Home Depot and I buy the painter's drop cost or $16. Nice heavy canvas. You can get them in natural or black. And I throw them down on my table whenever I'm painting. And, um, because I don't like paint on anything. Oops, there we go. Let me just get this straight. Gosh, this reversing is killing me. Uh, there we go. Boom. There we go. All right? So, drop cloth. So, remember, May is Vascular Birthmarks Month of Awareness. Join us. Our tagline is, my birthmark, my story. And uh, I'm seeing a lot of that coming up. <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. How's the baby? I hope she's doing great. A little bit too young to paint with us, but you can do it. You can join us, Vanessa. Um, send us a picture to say how she's doing. All right. So now whether you have your um, straw, let me just check here. I want to make sure everybody's following me here. Your straw or a Q-tip. Now when you use the Q-tip, you're going to, I like the Q-tip. When you dot the Q-tip, it's a small flower. When you go like this, you make a bigger flower. Makes sense, right? So let's start with red. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you, not tell you. So you see on here, the paint? I'm going to take red, move it to the side, and I'm going to add a little bit of white to it, okay? It, it makes it more opaque. And that's going to make it look better on the green. I mean, you can use the full strength red if you want. I may use it later. So now I have like a pinkish color. I got it all over. And now you'll see here, I'm going to start my flowers. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. I did 10 with one dip. With one dip of my Q-tip, I did 10. Now I'm going to use the other side and put some red like on it, the red, full strength red, and I'm going to make smaller flowers in between. We want to fill this up. See the little ones? These are little, but they're still like in the same color family, the same shades. Do a little red, Little red, little red, little red. So there you go. This is with reds and pinks. So we're starting to put all of our flowers there at the base of the mountain. Dry, dry, dry. <laughs> Shake it a little, let it dry. Let's see, we're 18 minutes in and look, people, we're almost halfway done. More than halfway. Um, so why we're shaking this and drying again, May is Vascular Birthmarks Month of Awareness. Hope you'll join us. Uh, let's see, Vanessa. Hi, Bishoy. Bisho. How are you? Alphonse joined us. Um, again, everybody, you can do this later with people at home. Um, you can share this. I was very excited last week that the um, art class I did was shared or viewed 1,700 times. Pretty amazing in my opinion. I was shocked. Let me try to get this thing straight so you can see how the flowers look. Okay? That's how your flowers should look. Okay, so now because we have this green grass, red flowers, blue, we want to put a contrasting color. So we're going to take, the next color we're going to take is yellow. Let's get a fresh Q-tip and again you can use a cotton ball or you can use a straw. If you use the straw, the circles will be kind of empty or you can blob them on. That's fine too. You can use your little pinky finger. So I'm gonna take some yellow. Yellow is pretty transparent, so I'm gonna mix some white in with the yellow to make it more opaque so you can see the flowers on the grass. Because sometimes if you have a acrylic paint, the yellows can be kind of see-through like transparent and then you don't get a good see, see the color well. So now I'm going to put my 10 big flowers. See, there we go. Look at how easy that is. One dip of the straw of the Q-tip. 
let's see, let me fill that in. A little more color there. So I'm getting the yellow done. Uh, let me just wipe that up. And now I'm going to go through and do small yellow dots. Small, 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 small. See, use the yellow. Get it all around. You know, you can make a pattern if you want. Some people like patterns. It can be random. Just get some yellow. You can even put a few yellow in up with the pink if you want. I didn't do this before, but you could throw in a few little yellow flowers up there. Why not? Right? Little colors added in. Make the flowers stand out more. So this kind of art, there's two things. One's called pointillism. And, well, pointillism is when you make art using the tip of something. Um, you know, tip of a pen, tip of a brush. You know, here's a paintbrush. It has a tip on the end. And um, a, paint, a pen. So when you have a paintbrush like this with a real small tip and you do tiny, tiny dots to create your painting, that's called pointillism. And Van Gogh used to do a lot of pointillism. People think Monet did pointillism, but Monet did impressionism. He used more chunky little strokes that caught light by the different strokes. So people think that's, that's pointillism. It's not. Pointillism is strictly making a painting from dots. And I've seen people do amazing portrait work with just dots. It's like amazing. Okay, so let's have a little dark color now. So we're going to go back to our blue. And we're going to take another Q-tip. If I can find one after I take a drink here. So you can take a look. I hope you're all staying with me on this. We're going to be done by 1230, which is great. A nice 30-minute art class. Um, if you're not done, if you don't have a clean Q-tip, you could probably use the other one. Like I'm using the back of the one that had yellow on it. So I'm going to take blue, full strength, full strength because it's dark and I'm going to make, look at that, see how nice that is to bring a dark color in here because we don't have it, we, we have pastels. So we're going to put nice dark blue flowers down here with the Q-tip, make our big ones all the way across, that kind of sets our line, see that's our line. Then we're going to go in and do the little dots. Dot, 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 dot. These Q-tips are great for this. If you got any extra dark blue, because this is the only time we'll use it. Let's throw in some blue flowers in with the yellow. Look at that. It looks kind of nice, right? See, got some blue in there. Maybe we'll put a few blue, let's see, here here, here, some random blue ones in up at the top. There you go. So look at that. Our field of flowers is growing amazing, amazing. Now the next one, okay, so now we're going to mix. If you have yellow and red left, you're going to take a, a brush, a straw. Um, I also use a plastic knife, which I use. And you're going to take um, some yellow and you're going to mix it with the green that you use for your grass. You're going to make, um, oh no, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Wrong color. I will get rid of that brush. We're going to use yellow and red to make orange. So let's take some yellow and mix it with red. And we're going to get, we want a bright, so it should be like, Mostly yellow. So start with the yellow and just add a drop of red because red is powerful. Red's a powerful color. So you want to take a lot, a big chunk of yellow and a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of red. I've got almost my perfect orange. Keep adding yellow to it until you get that perfect orange. I'm going to cheat a little because I stirred with this. So I'm going to put, oh, see, see now how this is transparent, meaning you can see through it a little. I'm going to add some white, which will make it more opaque. 
a little bit of white, add it to your orange, will actually make it look more orange. You see that? Look at that. Gives it a little bit more of an orange. Let's go across with our orange. And if you mix um, blue with yellow, you get green if you don't already have green. And if you mix um, yellow with red, you get orange, yellow and red. Now, one of the worst and most difficult colors to make is purple. You're supposed to add red and blue to get purple, but it's just so hard. I have a terrible time with it, so I just buy the purple already made. But you may be luckier than me. So see, now I have my orange flowers, and I'm going to go right down to the bottom and do some dots. If you've got your Q-tip, cotton ball, whatever you want to use. You can fill up the bottom with the dots. Okay, so I filled up the bottom with dots. Now I've got paint left and I've got my Q-tips. So I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take some of the dark blue because it's really contrast. And I'm going to put some dark blue down here. You see that? Get some dark blue dots down here, some flowers, so that we can fill that all up. And you can see, so this is pointillism. This is using circles and dots, which are my favorite thing to use in art for making a landscape. There you go. Flowers, when you bring it back more, you can kind of see the ugh, mountains. And I gotta learn this left, right, opposite stuff. My brain is not functioning. There we go. There we go. Boom. There we go. So you can see these are the flowers, the mountains, the sky with the clouds. And, um, you know, whatever you want, you want to add. If you have purple, add purple flowers. If you can get a real vibrant pink, add pink flowers to it. It doesn't matter. Um, so you can see the difference. I did a couple. Now there you see three of them, so that's really done, and you can see you didn't even really need a paintbrush. Now, three minutes left. Next week is going to be, hi Sandy, <laughs> yes. oh yes, you're in the veterans group, the art group. Hey, um, Zoya and Suha, yay, you're on there, Erin, um, Linda Martino's on, hi sis. So today we did this picture with just cotton balls and Q-tips and it's pointillism landscape. Very easy. You can go back and watch this video. It's only 30 minutes on Penny. If you want to send out instructions to the veterans, have them go to our Facebook page, Vascular Birthmarks um, on um, Foundation on Facebook backslash uh, facebook.com backslash vascular birthmarks foundation and this will be on there it will probably also be uploaded to our youtube channel and on our our birthmark.org page in the next couple days so all three of the 30 minute sessions will be there now next week you're going to love it it's a stained glass painting the only thing you need besides all these supplies which you'll need next week paint um, uh, paper towels. If you have brushes, next week's the time to use them. If not, we'll use paper towels. But if you have paint, paint brushes, a paper plate to put your paint on, you need the secret ingredient for next week is a black Sharpie. Okay? Because we're going to use it to make the stained glass effect. And then we're going to fill it all in with different colors. And it'll be a 30 minute art class, abstract, big finish for Dr. Linda. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this week's art class. I also want to end with the great news we had because as you all know, New York State, is primarily New York City, is the worst hit um, area in the world for COVID-19. And our governor made an announcement within the hour, an hour ago, saying the worst is behind us. So I want to thank you, God that the worst is behind us and he's going to be making an announcement today at what our rollout plan is going to be for getting out of our houses and back into the world. Um, I've been doing a lot of art. I hope you're doing creative things. I hope you will stay safe. 
I hope you will stay sane. Come back next Monday for the last class at 12 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. That's New York time. And remember, May is Vascular Birthmarks, Anomalies, and Syndromes Month of Awareness. Stay safe, stay sane, and stay socially distanced until we've been told otherwise. God bless you all, and have a great Monday. See you next week.